Hey, it's Melissa from Kiwi Banana and today I'm going to talk about three years of not using any shampoo in my hair. So firstly, I will admit that I haven't actually brushed my hair for a number of days. And yeah, I do understand that the way I um, have my hair may not be uh, the way that other people may like it and, and using no products on it may not be something that resonates with everybody. Um, but for me, I really like uh, caring for my hair in that kind of way, very minimalistic. And I guess the first thing I want to talk about is why. The first reason I want to talk about is that I'm not actually 100% convinced that actually using a lot of those products, such as shampoo, in your hair is actually beneficial um, to your hair, to your scalp, um, and to your being. The next reason is that I find it actually gives me more time. I just, when you're very minimalistic with your hair, it gives you more time to uh, spend doing other things that you may enjoy more. You know, it's all perspective, right? Another reason is that it's very cheap. When you don't buy these things, um, you're not having to spend money on them, I guess. So, without using them, it makes, uh, I guess, your daily expenses a lot cheaper next reason that I want to touch on is that it's more environmentally friendly. Very similar to the cheap thing. If you don't buy it, um, then you're not contributing towards the, I guess some people may call it the environmental detriment um, that may come from the products. You know, in regards to the packaging and the ingredients um, in those products. And then, I guess the last thing I want to talk about is that it takes up less space. Um, I don't have to have more products in the bathroom, in my bedroom. Um, I like to have very minimal things. So, you know, if I want to put everything I own in a backpack, I'm not having to worry about where am I going to put my shampoo bottle because it doesn't exist. Right, so the next thing I want to talk about is how you can make it work for you. So I guess one of the most important tips, especially when you're first starting out, is that you're actually going to need to allow your hair time to adjust. If you think about it, it's probably pretty much most of your life, if you're watching this, you've probably used um, some form of hair products on your hair almost on a daily basis. And, and with that, it means that your hair and your scalp has very much become used to um, relying on those sort of things to balance itself out, if that's a good way to put it. Well, that's the way I'm gonna put it anyway. And so when you stop using them, um, it can take a little while for it to adjust. I didn't have any difficulties myself because of other reasons that I will um, tell you more about this in a sec. But yeah, it, some people, it can take a few weeks, some people can take a number of months, um, but I am about to give you some more tips that will hopefully help with that. So the next one I wanna say is that some people find that combing or brushing um, their hair to try and get the natural oils further down through the hair strands can help. Um, I don't like to comb or brush my hair when it's wet. Um, I find that it can be quite damaging to my hair. Although also I understand that some of you out there that have really curly hair, we've got those awesome afros. Um, it can be a little bit hard to comb your hair when it is uh, dry. So you probably have to look into some other techniques in regards to how you can make that work for you with that kind of hair type. And I guess a, another important factor is things like sleep, water, and stress. Um, so, you know, what, what are you, I guess, putting in your body can have a huge part to play. That also correlates with it, obviously eating a predominantly whole food and plant-based um, diet. I found that really helps as well. Um, I find uh, rinsing, um, my hair or having a shower after I do any kind of strenuous exercise so when I'm sweating quite a lot I find that um, having a shower can really help and in regards to shower water temperature I try to keep that at the more colder to lukewarm I guess uh, range I understand that if you live in quite a cold climate um, having a cold shower is it's quite um, quite a bit uncomfortable I guess you could put it so yeah, me living in a tropical climate kind of helps. If I want to have a cold shower, it doesn't feel... Actually, it feels really nice to have a cold shower and a hot summer's day here. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so those would be the main things that I would um, want to, I guess, get you to consider if you want to try and make the uh, no shampoo thing work. I find the biggest benefit for me is that not using any shampoo kind of allows me to be more of my own natural being as authentically as possible and that's what feels good to me. I am not trying to abide by some kind of uh, rule or dogma that is telling me that I should, you know, I should use shampoo. Like if I wanted to use shampoo, I'd want to use shampoo on my own, my own, um, with my own, I guess, understanding and my own decision to do so. Um, but I've just got so, so, so many other reasons as to why I don't feel it's beneficial for me to, to use um, shampoo and use hair products. So yeah, that's basically my rundown of, yeah, I haven't used any shampoo, any hair products in my hair for three years. Um, yeah, okay, so my hair may not look like it's out of some kind of like hair commercial. I don't know. I love it. I like it. Um, I still get compliments from other people about it. Not that I need that to validate my decisions, but I guess you understand what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm just going to leave this here and you're more than welcome to leave your comments and questions in the uh, comment section down below or you can connect up with me on the other social media platforms that you'll find in the description box down below.